Hey, Kelvin. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. What's happening? Are you ready? Tell me, lie, lie, no be lie. Yeah. Why you want to tell me, bye, bye, bye? Oh, two, four, one, seven, you dip on my mind. Ah. Oh, my baby, tell me, why, why, why? Ah. Whatever be the case, so baby, don't go away. You dropped your full studio album titled Black Star. Mm -hmm. It was the top of the town. <laughs> So yes, yeah, please, can you let me know how the album it has been proceeding so far? Um, okay. This is my first ever album, my first ever body of work. And um, yes. then um I think last year I brought um an EP and the title was Time EP. So I was like uh, and I was talking about Afrobeat, you know, um how people here in Ghana are, are new to the Afrobeat thing. When you, when you talk about Afrobeat, they are more of the hip hop and the reggae dance and stuff. They are accepting it now. You understand? Now, um, so I give them time EP. So that EP was actually to give them time, give them time to grow, to get ready to warm up. To give their song, yes, <laughs> to give their songs the Afrobeat time to grow up on them. So now it's a year old, and now we are coming with the Black Star because they have accepted it, and then they we have to own it as well now. They go like, yo, Black Star, because no one have thought of it. When we hear Black Star, it's the football team. Right now, when you Google yeah. Black Star, you see um, our our national uh, team players and Kelvin Ball. Talking about talking about Black Star, I would just like to ask you. On the album, I know you love all the songs, but which one do you have like a particular sensitive spot for? Oh, um, okay. I can't, I would say, I would say, um, I can't choose because, because there are 15 songs on there and four are out already for pre-sale because some were released, I mean, before the album. Um, so I would say my favorite is Momo. For now, and the new favorite is style. Now we know. Now we know you've worked with a lot of um, big names, big shot, big producers, um, mm. as well as um, Grammy-nominated producer Kelp. Um, can you tell me what it was like working with him? I had I had a nice time with Kelp. Kelp came to Ghana. He loves Ghana actually. He's always he in Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. So I, I we linked up. I think. My first link up with KLP was through Manifest. Yeah, I got to meet KLP and he dropped the beat and I did something. He was like, yo, somebody like this day Ghana here. He did for like day Niger, like day Niger and I could go worry. That's the Baba we did with this together. So he go come, he come again where we meet for um hotel and I was like, yo, go to do something. We recorded like two songs. So when the album was when we were like picking the songs for the album. We picked one from um, one with Kelpie, and then um, we got Crayon on it. Before we let you go, please let us know what are we mm -hmm. expecting from you? We, your fans, are your issues. What are we expecting from you? Um, expect greatness. Trust me, expect greatness because with this album, I can see, I can see the um, reception already. We expect greatness, and Ghana is about to run it. You understand? Together with Nigeria, our, our brothers and sisters. You understand? Together, Africa, we move. You understand? Afro beat the world, yeah. Anata, 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 anata. Thank you so much, Kelvin Boy, for you know spending you. your time Thank to you. be here. Like I said, yeah, you were phenomenal. You're doing amazing. Keep up the quick work. This is Africa to the world, and you are representing, guys. Thank you. you Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.